So in this video, we will discuss planning of the PMC flap. So let us assume that this is a post hemimandibulectomy buccal mucosal defect for which we will plan our PMC flap. So it begins with marking of the important anatomical landmarks. We mark the suprasternal notch. We mark the xiphoid. We mark the acromion. So I have accidentally marked it far too laterally, it is medially. We mark the clavicle and the midpoint of clavicle. Then we mark the outer border of the pectoralis major. We have to mark this because as far as possible, we don't want our skin to go beyond the borders of the pectoralis major muscle. Then we mark the territory of the DP flap. So this we have to mark because we don't want to design our skin paddle over the DP flap territory nor do we want our incisions to go on this territory because we want to keep this as a lifeboat just in case anything happens to our DP flap, uh, our PMC flap. So we are marking the perforators of the internal mammary artery which are around 1.5 to 2 centimeters from the midline. It is not always necessary to include the fourth intercostal space perforators. This plan is basically depending upon individual defect as to what you have. So most of the times it is adequate to include only the second or the third intercostal space perforators because these are the larger ones. So now we have marked our DP flap territory and now we will mark the axis of the pectoral branch. So